You know, I just remembered that Chunk kicked me out last time, so I can't even go to Beckett and LaCroix again. We just gotta go straight to the Society of Leopold, right from here. The Inquisition exists today, although no official church records speak of it. Okay, I am in the middle of nowhere. Should I just start walking around and see where it takes me? No, this is the end. Okay. The Society of Leopold. On the shores of some Malibu beach, did Beckett say? Now, are people gonna know I'm a vampire right away? We are in a combat area right now. Probably, right? Because as soon as they see someone that's not part of their people, like those people, if they see me. Are you guys saying something? Somehow I'm getting the impression that we're not going to be doing much talking here. Okay, probably we're just going to start fighting right away. In that case, you know what? I really need to learn to use the other thing more often, not this part. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Melee weapons. Like that. This stuff. Yeah, this is way easier if I want to switch. If people are already looking around like that, I really don't think we can... Are we supposed to be able to sneak in? Who's there? Ah, uh, hello. Who's there? Oh, b b b b oh, okay, I was gonna... All right. Well, this is great, this is great. Oh, you guys aren't vampires though. This is a waste, isn't it? Let's try using the tiger claws. Holy God. Let's calm down here. Yeah, look at that. Calm down. Hey, when there's a lot of people trying to shoot at us, we're still in danger of dying. Look at my health right now. It's not looking good. <laughs> I'm standing still here. I have heard that towards the end, the focus on fighting seems to be amplified. So maybe starting from here, we're not really going to be doing much talking anymore. It's just going to mainly be a whole lot of fighting. Everybody. Hey, I can't get you when you're up there like that. You can't do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I wanted to get the, the range guy first. Finally. I guess we want to kill everybody before really moving into the place. How's the damage on this thing? It's okay. It's not horrible, it seems. If I can feed on some of you... Where are you guys? Oh, there's one here. There's two here. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm a little bit busy right now. Could you come back later? Thanks, I really appreciate it. So these guys look like regular... some kind of mercenaries? They don't look like vampire hunters. Are they just lackeys or what's going on here? Okay, where's the other guy who's shooting at me? Oh, this would be a good situation to try out the rifles. Hold on. Oh, I try to zoom in, but I can't. Can I not zoom in? Or do I not know the key, maybe? The key to zoom in. Oh, here we go. Whoa, that's so shaky. I'm reloading. <laughs> this is taking forever. Hold on. How do I get out of here? Oh, man. Well, we're kind of just messing around here, so I don't mind so much. Hey, this guy's different. Why are you on fire? Yeah, I saw that lady standing to the side earlier. 
wonder if we could have talked to her. Although I really don't think anybody's gonna be too receptive to me. Okay, let me try this again. Let me try this again. Just keep shooting, I don't mind. Just stand still, okay? This is a bird's nest thing. Okay, I'm not moving my mouse right now. It's just hovering because it's so... Because it's so zoomed in, I guess. Okay, that's that's a nice shot. 70 damage. But at the same time, how long did it take to line up the shot? Hello? Okay, well... Oh, maybe he died off screen. Well, we got a very warm welcoming here. Let's see. Many of its members are researchers and occultists, but some are fanatic vampire hunters. Whoa! Oh my god, I just came in here! <gasps> Wait, what is that electricity? Oh, they're getting hurt from the thing. Hold on! Hold on! Hey, you stay behind the laser. <gasps> That's a lot of people. Journal. I'll read that in a second, alright? Probably now let's focus a little bit on getting things done here. Maybe a shotgun would be good? Or even this, uh, this flamethrower? Kinda wanna save it for vampires. So maybe not right now. Hey, it's you! You were back at the club! The one who killed the human! You feel bad about that at all? Hey, you have that gun! The gun I got from Mercurio. Oh! <laughs> I wanted to get the ammo. That's good to know. It's one hit kill. The laser is one hit kill. Oh my lord! I could just do celerity, but... Well... It's a closer fight without celerity, right? These guys look kind of like the police, actually. I don't need a knife. <laughs> I don't need a knife. Is that a computer? It's probably the computer to turn off the laser. A little corner, just you and me. The guy can't even try to get us. Yummy. What weapon did you have? Oh, the little Uzi. Okay, that guy I can't walk over. Not yet. God, that aiming takes forever. Anybody else? <laughs> From this distance. Oh, there's multiple of that guy. Nice. Very nice. So those guys are vampire hunters, the guys with the swords, and the other guys are... regular people. Oh, maybe that's how I died, huh? Oh my god, I'm right next to it. Heat power. That's a really short password. Sock. Society. Off. Oh. Charges disabled. Heat sig. It's the same password. Bad for security, guys. Oh. Oh! Okay, hold on. We want to make it human. And then what we want to do is turn it back on again. Because now it's gonna attack the humans and not the vampires. Is that what's going on? Ah! Very nice, very nice. Just in case, I'm gonna save. Oh, so that big flash earlier was just humans not getting hurt by the thing. I see. Interesting. Well, was this the only laser around here, or... I hope there's more later on. Oh, I gotta go get the journal again. Everybody sleeping with crosses and all that? What's this? What's this? Oh, this might be not the right way to go. Who's 
Who's there? God. Um, we could go down here right now, but I'm kind of interested in, uh, well, looking at the journal. Plus, oh, if we lure them up here. Oh, there's people above us too. Oh, wow, holy crap. Okay, well, read the journal. GB. Hey, what was the name of that guy? The vampire hunter again? Something Bach? Gunther? Or something? We have tracked LaCroix to Los Angeles. He has made his lair in the penthouse of the Venture Tower, hiding behind some legitimate business front while commanding his legion of demons by cover of night. I prayed to the Lord for strength in the coming days, but there is a shadow that hangs over my heart like the dark wings of Lucifer himself. It is not LaCroix I fear, nor his underlings, but there is fear in my heart nonetheless. An ancient evil is stirring. May God grant me the strength to overcome it. Woke up this morning, and the sun on my face was little comfort. We lost three of the brethren last night in a fierce battle with some hellspawn. Minions of the vampire we know as Alistair Grout. <gasps> Wait, that's me. That's this battle. Yeah. The Well, it's not really a battle when you just torch the whole house and I ran away. We have been unable to find his lair, but it is only a matter of time. May God have mercy on the souls of our brethren. Actually, it might not be. It's his minions, right? I'm not his minion, so it's a previous battle. The mystery surrounding the Ankaran sarcophagus and the massacre on the Elizabeth Dane has my superiors troubled. I have been told to expect a package in the mail that may be helpful in shedding some light on this artifact. Its arrival seems... convenient. In light of LaCroix's recent arrival. Something is amiss, yet I cannot see what machinations are at play. I will wait and have faith that the Lord will see us through. Okay, so maybe the mail was sent by somebody we know. Somebody that we don't expect to send stuff to these guys. We finally found the lair of Alistair Grout, but it seems we were too late. The demon had already been sent to hell before I was able to dispatch him. I ran across a younger vampire who seemed unaware of Grout's demise. No doubt, one of his sucklings come to visit its master. I took care of that demon and destroyed the house. I thank God for his eternal watchfulness over me and the Brotherhood. Yeah, you're pretty careless. Didn't finish the job. There seems to be a great unrest among the vampire brood here in the city. Perhaps the arrival of LaCroix was unwelcome to the rest of the damned? I know not, nor do I care. They will all burn, whether by my hand or the father's. The Ankaran sarcophagus was stolen today from the Museum of Natural History. The police report we obtained leads me to believe that the demon spawn were behind it, and the book I received yesterday from the Vatican only reinforces that theory. I know now that these may very well be the end times, and the time of the final struggle may well be upon us. Weird, huh? Vampire hunters and vampires both believe in the same kind of lore. I dreamt of LaCroix last night, of his hideous visage burned into ash in the Great Inferno. May it be that this is a vision given to me by God, and that I will be the vessel of his holy vengeance. The years have been long, too long. Perhaps the soul of my father may finally rest in peace. Brother Kriegler reported a disturbance at the Vampire Coven we have been observing at the mansion in Hollywood. It seems there was a party, and that something interrupted their fleshy rituals. Hmm? The Tsumitsi place? He could say no more of the matter, but I smell LaCroix's meddling hand in this. All the better. May the demons feed on themselves until the world is rid of their evil. I had dreams of fire in Griffith Park last evening. I know not of their origin, but I fear the worst. I received a letter from His Holiness, warning me that he is fearful that the apocalypse is upon us, and that my mission has become more important than ever. I hold his words close to my heart, and will fight for righteousness until I am no longer able. I took Johansson from his hotel room last evening, and brought him back here to the monastery. I am convinced that Lacroix will try to find him, as he is the only one with the knowledge about how the artifact can be opened. The brethren have been warned to expect an assault on the monastery, and they are ready to die for his glory, as am I. May the Holy Father bless us in these dark days, and may the children of Satan burn forever in the hells and the hellfires of damnation. Amen. You wrote a lot before you died. Ooh! Wait. Is that okay? That's not blue. I mean, I sold that already, but okay. Am I allowed to go in? I mean, I feel like I should be, but oh. Oh, there's another computer here. We can blow it up. This is explosive. Heat sig. Sock. 
You guys, stop using the same password on every computer. That's no good. Okay. Yeah, what's the point of having one computer control one beam? Oh, that scared me. Oh, I shouldn't have bought it. I could have just gotten it here for free. It's... This one, right? So these guys are using this gun too, which means I should use it to pick up their ammo and all that. That's more explosives. Oh. Oh, full. Where is the computer? Oh jeez. Oh my god, I'm gonna freaking touch it. I'm gonna freaking touch it. This doesn't count as such a- Thank god I saved right here, but how am I supposed to touch it then? I can't even get over. Do you want me to just explode it then? We could. What are y'all reading here? Where is everybody? Where's all the fun? No, we should use another gun. One with more bullets. This one. No, no, not this one. This one. Ow, that hurt. Who's there? Who's there? I don't know, who's there? You tell me. This is getting out of here. This is also getting out of here. You mean getting out of here and going outside? I mean, I guess so, but uh... You mean to where we came from? Because there was a back door in this place and one guy is still angry at me. So I guess there was some degree of, like, sneaking that we could have done. But judging by what's happening in the air and the layout of the place, I don't get the impression that stealth would have gone as very far. Oh, what about this door? You don't get experience points for this. There's no point in doing it. Ah, right, because if you came from this side, then you can access the computer. Okay. Pig ear? I killed so many people. It's not a one-to-one -one for sure. You gotta kill like 20 people to get one point back. Alright guys, give me some blood. Give me some blood. Excuse me, I'm just gonna... Have a sip. Don't make so much noise, please. Who's there? Oh no. Who's there? Nobody. <sighs> These guys are more generic than I thought. I thought he looked kind of unique, but. There's been multiple of them. Do you guys hate technology or something? You're like, living in a dungeon. Delicious, delicious blood. Hey, that wasn't openable, right? Nope. Where are y'all? Wait, what? That's it? Hmm? Wait, there was nothing in this downstairs portion. How do we go upstairs? Did I miss the... Oh. Okay. Hey, you got a microwave. One of us should take some food down to the prison. Yo, Hanson? He is no better than they. If not for his meddlesome diggings, the artifact would never have come here. Yes, it is complicated matters. An interesting turn of events. Do you think it holds something? I care not. If it does, then with God's help, we will send it screaming back to hell. Brother Cleveland says it may be uh, him, the son of Adam, the brother killer. Mm. If this be the end of days, then may the Lord give us strength to see them through. So, shall we take some food down to Johansson? Here. Yeah. Take mine. I am no longer hungry. Johansson is being kept somewhere downstairs. Let's have some fun. 
I don't care that they're not vampires. Let's have fun. Without dying. Wow, some of you survived that. We should save a little bit for real vampires, though, I feel like. Are you okay? Oh, is it the fuck? How did I... How did I die? Oh, the moment we come in, we lose half of our health already. It's actually quite a bit. If we're not paying proper attention. Come on, everybody. I want to have fun. I want to try out all my weapons. But they actually hurt quite a bit, so this is probably a good time to increase our skills a little bit, right? Our defense. Combat defense. Wits? 12 points. Um, what about stuff like soaking, though? Does that matter? Because I feel like it should. And then what about dodging? Yeah, avoid taking damage in all forms of combat. Three. Six. Nine. Oh, zero points. That should help me out, and then I got the, the book here, too. Bad monkey, no banana. A handbook from Les Assassins de Roulant, a Quebecois terrorist organization hidden under an innocent cover. This manual holds the secrets to dodging bullets, trains, and other projectiles. Raises my dodge talent. Perfect. Alright, now we should be doing a little bit better. Uh, save up my... Yeah? Oh, I used so much flamethrower ammo already. That was fast. I guess I'll use this. Vampire... Apocrypha. Is that the sarcophagus? Unidentified sarcophagus discovered by Julius of Gaul. 1060... 8 AD, near Ankara Ottoman Empire. The origin of this dark and mysterious talisman is largely unknown, and is mostly considered a myth, if not for the etchings of Julius of Gaul, who first discovered and then subsequently re-entombed the artifact. There would almost be no historical record of the artifact, save for the various unfounded legends of its evilness scattered throughout the writings of the Brotherhood. Historians and theologians alike have been unable to ascertain its exact age or place of origin although the symbols and inscriptions seem to hint that the artifact is of the area of ancient Sumer or Mesopotamia. It has never been opened, and therefore, any myths pertaining to who or what might be encased in it are total speculation. Vampiric origins have not been ruled out, although many scholars within the church seem to think that it may hold the remains of an ancient king, whose name so far has been lost to the ages. Let it be said, though, that the writings of Julius Gaul describe the artifact as being a nefarious and dread thing, full of some ancient and undeniable evil. He attributes the death of his scribe to the artifact, who, upon setting his eyes on it for the first time, began convulsing uncontrollably and promptly died. Wow, that's pleasant. So this Julius of Gaul guy discovered it and then re-entombed it. Because he discovered how evil it was? Without even opening it, though? Didn't he open it to find out that it's evil? Although it says it has never been opened here. So they just dug it up and put it back in. Interior key. Probably the key to get Johansson. Art of the Quick Draw by Ned Nederlander. Firearms 4. Okay, well, we'll have to wait a little bit, because I'm out of points now. Firearms 4. 9 points. Okay, well, this isn't it. This isn't it. Interior key. Did we come across a place earlier where... The key... Did we come across a locked door? I don't actually remember seeing that. Oh my god. Oh, this must be when I blew up the thing. Yeah. Is there no, like, hidden compartment here? No? 
Interior key. Maybe downstairs? But I thought we already established there's nothing down there. Or maybe that one door that we couldn't really open? No, it's it's not openable. Huh. Oh, there's something sparkling here. Oh, what? Here we go. I guess the key might have been for the nine lockpicking door. Because not everyone would have nine lockpicking. Or it could be for this one. Nope. Oh, what now? What's going on here? There are people. There are people, and also a lot of explosives. Actually, there's only one guy. Oh, two. They did say earlier that Johansson's being kept downstairs somewhere. Probably here. Is this really necessary though? My god, this poor guy did nothing wrong. He was just somebody fascinated by archaeology. And then you random people abduct him. This doesn't even matter. <laughs> You sound like lead when you drop. You can just shoot that. You gonna move? I don't know why I bother. Hey, where's my friend who was here one second ago? Oh, nice, nice senses. Nice sixth sense. Well, if we can, maybe let's try to avoid blowing up the place, because we're kind of in here too. We're kind of in a mining area now, so if we blow this place up, that might not be very good for us getting out. Generator 1, Generator 2. Hey, there's a vampire here. Who's there? Oh, someone in a cage. <laughs> Who is that? So, so far, most of the people that we've come across, they mention that some vampire hunters can have powers, but luckily, thankfully, so far, not yet. Haven't seen those guys just yet. But maybe the Bach guy would. Can I touch this? Hey. You look so familiar. Ash? You. It ruined my face. The fire. I can still feel it in my wounds. They'll kill me. They'll come back with their brands and it will burn. Oh no! You got caught anyway. Oh, you look horrible. I wouldn't talk so they burnt me. Again. And again and again. Their eyes, they, they enjoyed it. 
Before they come back, I'm begging you, let me out. I got something that might help you heal up a few of those wounds. I once drank from the most desirable women in the world. Right now, this bag looks better than any of them. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Will I really be back? Oh, I can do that. I can do that. Oh, you poor guy. I'm a little bit surprised you didn't talk, though. Because, as far as I know, you don't even like being a vampire. But you still uphold the code. Thanks. You'll never see me again. I'm gonna go somewhere no one will ever... see this face again. Oh, it's not so bad. Maybe you can get some plastic surgery for that. Cover it up with makeup? It's not a scar, it's just a marking. Or, actually, is it burned in? With some kind of, like, an iron? Oh no. Canada. <laughs> Goodbye, Ash. Hi, Ash. Damn. Oh, I don't have blood buff. Whatever, doesn't matter. Nothing in here, right? Ooh, lone vampires are easy. Easy, easy prey. Thankfully, we came across him. You rescued Ash from the hunters again. Poor guy, though. He is really not dealing so well with being a vampire. At first it was kind of like, no, I don't want to be one, but I'm one anyway. But now, being one is what got him into trouble. Grunfeld? Sounds cruel. Killing each other. Okay, which of these things are explosive around here? Let's see. You guys aren't standing close enough, though. Oh, okay, never mind. You guys are. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Oh! Wanted to get closer. Whoa, there's actually a lot more of you than I thought there were. Hold on, hold on. What weapons can I use? What haven't I tried yet? Keep trying the claws. Hey, you got an escape boat here. Where are you all going? Ooh! Ooh, sorry, man. That was a bit... I don't think we even need blood bags here, just because we can just drink a guy. Hey, you and me! Little knife versus tiger claws. <laughs> I love the way you spin! It's so... Makes you look like a kung fu master. Thank you. Are there multiple people around here? What are you standing on? Look at that! That's like some kind of hurricane martial arts move. Focus! Oh god, the focusing is killing me. Effectiveness-wise, probably the katana is... A bit more efficient than the claws, but it's fun anyway. There's somebody we left behind too. They're shooting it here. Thank you. 
Okay. What do you want, buddy? Okay, one more? Somebody's all the way back here. Oh, I see you. I see you. <laughs> hey! Is it not possible for me to stabilize? I can't even... It's only stable when I'm reloading. Oh my god. Come on, come on. Great. That was a lot of effort. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. oh, the other guns have other modes too, right? How do I tell if it's in one mode or another? Fan. Single. Fan. I guess I'll do fan. Fan is the one that we weren't using. Man, they really hit him away, huh? No, I haven't used this gun! Somebody's sharpening something. Ah. Obstacle horse. Woo! You missed! I knew Johansson would lure the servants of Satan! But I set this type for the Archfiend himself! Where is LaCroix? Why would he come here himself? LaCroix? You think LaCroix would come here alone? Perhaps when LaCroix runs out of minions, he will show me his face, and God will guide my shots through it! Before I send you to eternal damnation, any last words? Nope. Let's do this. Okay. Ooh! Oh, we've got some like. Okay, okay, we're not messing around here, are we? Oh, there's no. Yo, there's no. There's no blocking here. When I get to you, if I can drink you, this battle is over. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa! That's a bit. What the? What? That's bull crap. Where'd you go? Oh, he's down there now. Okay, you know what? Two can play at this. Very slowly, but we can. Damn it. Oh, the explosives next to him. Are those explosives? Actually, not sure. I don't think so. The reticle is not turning. Hey, I'm actually getting him for a fair bit. Yeah, he's at half health now. But unfortunately, there is a limit to how many bullets I have with the sniper rifle because I was messing around with it too much earlier. Any far guns? Maybe like a high spread gun. Does this gun have another mode? It does. I got you figured out. If I don't go near you, you don't teleport away. <laughs> I got you. Oh, you know what? Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Excuse me, just wait until I get down here with the stairs and all. Oh my god. Yeah, this is more like it. <laughs> Where are you now? Over there. Come on! Okay, so just don't go near him, right? I wanted to make this a bit more fun, but you're just making this, like, very... Fun, I won't go near you! 
fine. Um. Zero. Zero. He's almost dead, though. So that's his way of avoiding you drinking him, I guess. Hey, why is it zero? Come on! What is with all these zero shots? Get you with a little Uzi. This again? It's gonna be real embarrassing when you die to a little Uzi. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's gonna be real embarrassing if I die. After I was toying with him for so long. Gosh! Mister! Mister! I'm not gonna go over anymore because apparently you get really annoying at melee range. Gosh. Gosh. Oh, I can open that now. But did you drop anything? I love this. They have like a vampire hunting training obstacle course here. Just a Remington. I'm out of blood though. Pig ear! Oh my god, it's still not at 10. You're joking me. There's so much fun stuff around here, but you were just teleporting around the whole time. <laughs> it doesn't even break at where I shoot it. Man, you guys were really dedicated to the whole thing, huh? Vampires mostly don't become vampires by choice, but vampire hunters definitely become vampire hunters by choice. Maybe that's why you guys are so passionate about it. It's something you chose. Out of your own volition. Whoa! I told you everything. There's no reason for you to keep me here. Let me go! Didn't you hear all the noise outside? Scared me. Dr. Johansson? I am an archaeologist. You can't hold me here like this. I am a hostage. I do not need protection. Bring me back to my hotel at once. Oh, you don't need any protection, all right. There's a boat not far from here. Help me and I'll help you escape. Yeah, yeah, okay. Anything, just get me out of these caverns and away from these crazies. I think I'm starting to get pneumonia. <coughs> Tell me what you know about the Ankaran sarcophagus. The sarcophagus? You went through all that trouble for the sarcophagus? Yeah, I'll tell you. But don't you think it would be better to get out of here before those men come back? I dealt with them. They won't be giving us any problems. I guess if you can get all the way here, you deserve the answers. But can I make one request first? After I answer your questions, you help me escape. You're actually in the position to say the other way around, because I need you. Yeah, like, so you can just say, you help me escape and then I'll answer, but okay, whatever. Sure. Alright, where should I begin? What can you tell me about the sarcophagus? Let's start with the history of the Ankaran sarcophagus. <laughs> that is a long and interesting <laughs> legend, lost and found throughout the ages. Tell me, are you familiar with the Assyrians? Oh my god, we're in like some random cavern underground after killing a bunch of people? This guy's literally like, let's start with the history of the Ankaran Psychoff- Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Well, the Assyrians lived in Mesopotamia, a region between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Most of this territory is now modern-day Iraq, Iran, Turkey, and Syria. Go on. 
They were warmongers, conquerors, a people driven to expand by their kings. Oh my god. Even before the Romans, they migrated <laughs> their conquered people to the territories to stem revolt. But uh, I'm afraid I'm getting off the subject. Go on. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, the markings on the sarcophagus seem to hint that it is from some time between 1050 and 800 BC, which was a period of fierce expansion by the Assyrians. Oddly, for those years, only one king shows up on the historical record. Please continue. While most likely he wiped all evidence of his predecessor's existence or passed the name to his heirs, one monarch, Mesarach, the one-eyed king is given credit for the territory and achievements of this time. But he would have had to have been over 250 years old. Like uh, Dracula or something. That's pretty consistent with us thinking that maybe some ancient vampire is in there. Yeah, the myths all blending into one. So? I find it hard to believe a sarcophagus with a person as important as Maserach could remain in, oh, what is the word, pristine or intact condition for so many years. But this is who is believed to be contained within. Why don't you just open it and find out? Maybe you have not heard. It was stolen from the museum before we had a chance to open it. Usually, we use equipment to carbon date, x-ray, and take air samples before we pry open the lid. Yeah, people who do research properly, unlike the Food Syndicate guys. You compared him to a vampire. Any reason? You know, it is interesting that you ask me that. The goddess on the outside of the sarcophagus was Lamastu. In Assyrian myth, Lamastu was an evil demoness who preyed on humans. Many people cite her as the mother of vampire myth, and... And? The engravings on and found around the sarcophagus oh portray a regal God. figure drinking the blood of his enemies. Now, this image is found in many cultures, specifically among those of royal lineage. But there is a quite scientific explanation. Which is? A disorder known as porphyria. In short, it is caused by a deficiency of the iron in the blood, and in many cultures, for the nobility that could conceivably get away with the cure, the treatment was to drink human blood. Ew, is that real? So, Mezorak drank human blood? Perhaps. Drinking the blood of your enemies is, if nothing else, symbolic. It can inspire fear in your foes and dissidents. Don't misunderstand me. I in no way believe it was a vampire. Vampires. That's what caused this whole mess. These maniacs believe they exist. How else? How did you find the Ankaran sarcophagus? Uh, that is, you see, in archaeology, one can spend years looking for a dig site, following local rumors, studying old maps. It's a complicated process, very boring. It can't be worse than what you're doing right now. I'm interested. Please go on. Finding and organizing a dig is the least interesting part of an archaeologist's job. Trust me, you don't want to hear about it. I thought they were gonna let me do it. <laughs> As a joke option. <laughs> do you really believe Mezorak is inside the sarcophagus? That I can't be sure of, nor can anyone. But I promise you it is more likely to be filled with uh, gummy bears than vampires. Perhaps maybe a mummy, but not likely the kind to go about chasing Abbott and Costello. What else do you know about vampires? Um, not much, really. I'm an archaeologist, not a mythologist. But I do know that Lamastu, the Assyrian demoness, was thought to have been the inspiration for Lilith. The first wife of Adam in the Jewish Old Testament, another source of the vampire myth. I love how he's so eager to talk about this, in the room that he's been captured in for however long. So, how does the sarcophagus open? Ah, quite interesting. 
There is a surprisingly complex mechanical lock on the face of the sarcophagus. By sheer luck, we were able to find the key not far from the sarcophagus. Why no one ever found it and robbed it, it's perplexing. Why don't we just smash it open? We probably could, but maybe it's bad for feng shui or something. Vampire feng shui. A key, of course, do you have it? How strange, you would ask. I haven't seen the key since it was loaded onto the Elizabeth Dane in Turkey. It was stolen before the sarcophagus even. I am still hopeful that the police find both pieces before the contents can be disturbed. Wait! Remember back on the Dane? They mentioned that there was another box in the manifesto. That box? Oh, hmm, I don't know. Do you have a copy of the key? No, it's not the kind of key you can copy at the hardware store. It's actually very sophisticated, and I meant to study it at the museum. I've answered all your questions. Do you think now you could please get me out of here? I don't care who you are or why you've had so many questions about the sarcophagus. I just want to leave this place. Oh, you poor old man. No, he doesn't know about vampires, he's just guessing. Alright, I'll free you. There is a boat nearby. We can escape on it. Thank you, my friend. I don't know where you came from, but I will never forget this kindness. No problem. Fine, fine. Let's go, man. Oh, you wanna go with me together? Okay. What the? Judgment is here. No. Oh, oh my, dude, dude. Come on, let's go, guy. Let's go. We gotta get to the boat. Oh my God, why are you not leaving? I don't have time for this. Okay, I don't know why you don't want to go. I. Oh, how did Buck? Oh my god, he disintegrated, he disintegrated here earlier, but he's still... He's still here. Dude, I hope that guy follows me. If not, I tried my best. <laughs> he's not coming for some reason. Oh, we should be fine. Or, oh, cutting it a little bit close, actually. Whoa, 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 this is, uh... Oh, you know what? Wait, celerity doesn't help! Come on! No? Did I get it? Um... What happened? What is this? What did I miss? You have spoken to Johansson and found out about the sarcophagus key. You should report your findings to the prince. No word on whether we actually saved him or not, because he was just kind of... <laughs> he was just kind of stuck there. Okay. Uh, what is this? What happened here? Hey, police, can I- can I ask somebody about this? What is it? It looks like burned wood? Can I even go in? Yeah. But what happened here? <gasps> Chunk? Oh my god. Oh. Oh, what happened here? This is not the vampires doing, right? Their usual way of doing things? What about the masquerade code, guys? 
You can always count on the Sabbat to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. They're reckless, but they don't normally try to attract this much attention. This carelessness warrants observation. I hope it doesn't become pandemic. The Sabbat? What? I suppose I should have talked to the prince first. Back in a minute. The Sabbat came? Well, the Sabbat doesn't care about the code. <laughs> With whom do they think they're dealing? Attack me in my own building! They're desperate. <laughs> They've shown their weakness. A last-ditch attempt to steal the prize. Someone made a mess downstairs. The Sabbat. A pack of shovelheads with cheap pistols was all they could muster. Two got a few stories up, but I took care of them. And my sheriff brought the rest their final death in the lobby. Sabbat animals. Want to clean up before people find out? The Sabbat attacked? Why? Why else? The motive of every kindred in the entire city these last few nights. The Ankaran sarcophagus. They've been misled into thinking the sarcophagus holds a sleeping ancient. Their most coveted feasts. Diabolists. Well, that's apparently what you want to do, too. <laughs> Even though he's all like, oh, the Camarilla don't believe in that. They drink the blood of other vampires? The Sabbat's infamy is in no small part due to their practice of diablerie. That is, drinking the blood of other kindred, especially older ones, until they are dead. Diablerists gain the power of those they've fed upon. And the Camarilla, this is an act punishable by death. For the moment, we've manipulated the press into reporting tonight's events as a terrorist attack. Their soldiers may be no danger to me, but their threat to the masquerade is abundant. As my best agent, I'm sure you can guess my course of action. <sighs> Do we want to keep sucking off? Oh, we've done it for so long anyway. You want me to wipe out the Sabbat? It would be my pleasure. The Sabbat have made their haven at the Hallibrook Hotel. Right under our noses here in downtown. Kill their leader. The rest will scamper out of the city. This is the last time they ever set foot in Los Angeles. Before you go, Beckett told me you went to the Society of Leopold. Did you find out how my sarcophagus is opened? Yes, your sarcophagus. Before I tell you anything, I want what's coming to me. Take your money. <laughs> tell me, what have you learned? The missing crate from the Dane. It's a key to the sarcophagus. A key? Where? Do you have it? Hmm, no idea. But you'll be happy to know I killed Bach. <laughs> Not only did you infiltrate the Society of Leopold, but you managed to kill their greatest hunter. You certainly are developing a legend for yourself. Superb. A toast to you. And to victory over the Sabbat. And to Bach. May all his progeny meet such fates. I only killed him because I had to. Now, I must do the same to the Sabbat. The Sabbat must be wiped out before dawn. Then, when you come back, we'll begin the hunt for the key. Okay. We don't have any idea where the key is, though. Although, if I had to guess, I would say Quajan. Because there's no way they brought up the whole Quajan thing. And they're not going to be involved in the end, right? They've got to be involved somehow. I'm guessing the key goes into this little hole. And then we do some twists and turns and... Then it opens? Drinking blood? Maybe? You can always count on the Sabbat to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. They're reckless. Hmm, the wrong thing for the right reasons? What does that mean? The Sabbat's goal is to stop Gehenna, which is very similar to my own, though they choose to do so through more violent, fanatic, and flamboyant methods. The Camarilla, on the other hand, suspends belief entirely. Or so goes the party line. Ah. It sounds like Beckett knows that LaCroix might be interested in the diablerie business, too. So you're not... What are you, actually? Well, you haven't brought up Anarch here at all, but I don't get the impression you're an Anarch. Of all these, I don't really get the impression you're any of them. You're not Camarilla? What I am is Kindred. 
How others choose to categorize themselves concerns me only where local customs are concerned. Individualism is a path fraught with obstacles and sometimes angry mobs. But for all its hardships, it is the only one worth taking. No, you can be individualistic and just suck up to everybody like me. Then you wouldn't get angry mobs coming after you. <laughs> I met with Dr. Johansson. What did Johansson have to say? He said there was a key for the sarcophagus, but he doesn't know where it is. The lock and key. An invention as ancient as greed. I should have guessed. All we have to do is find a victor in this nonsense. They'll be the one with the key. He said it's the tomb of Mezarak, an Assyrian king. Assyrian origin. Glad to see I'm not losing my touch. As for Mezarak, I'll have to research that name, see what I can find. He said the reliefs on the side were of a demoness named Lamastu. Lamastu? She was a Lilith figure. They represent empowered women and the threat of such women to male-dominated society. So scary. Strange she would be engraved on a king's tomb. That is strange. Hmm. That's everything I know. Does it mean anything to you? It seems to corroborate my own evidence. I'm going to have to study it a little more. Maybe dig up some information on Mezarak and the Lamastu myth. I'm certain the key will show up in time. Your information is appreciated. Here, the vampire Apocrypha might help. Excellent. Why would the Sabbat attack so openly? Well, they just don't care. It's simple. Someone's misled them into believing there's an antediluvian in this very room. They, and I suspect most kindred in this city, would love to sink their stakes or teeth into its imagined occupant. If indeed rocketing it to the moon was out of the question. I'm supposed to wipe them out because of the attack. Well, perhaps for this pack, it's for the best. Had another question for you. Excellent. That's all my questions. I have to prepare for my assault on the Sabbat. Okay? Okay, that has nothing to do with getting the key. But right now, we don't know where the key is, so it's what we gotta do. Wipe them out. Before they doom us all. Why don't you ever send this guy to do stuff with me? Oh, probably because you're scared of getting killed. Is that it? The prince has bidden you to kill the leader of the Sabbat and any other Sabbat that may get in the way. They have made their headquarters in the old burned out Hallowbrook Hotel in downtown Los Angeles. Can we go in there though? I don't remember that door being openable. I guess we'll find out. Hey guys, what happened to Chunk by the way? I didn't see him on the ground, but it's still very worrying that he's not here. Oh man. Are you alive? Oh, sorry, I think I just walked over you. And it made it seem like you're alive. Uh, I'll- I'll call the- Oh, you're the police. Wow.